Looks exhausting. <laughs> <laughs> Funny guy. The one that, on, that he likes comes up from there and does that. But because this is in the way, you can't do it. Yeah. It just physically isn't going to fit behind it. Which is a shame because it would look better there. But that isn't going to happen, I'm afraid. So we're going to have to come that side of it. Okay, first things first. Work out where we want to put that. And chop him off. If you run mask and tape around, it gives you a, a rough, a rough straight line. You know, I mean, it's never going to be accurate by any way or form, but it's closer than eyeballing it. You know. You'll notice that when it's ground in, you know, mm -hmm. it's not as severe as I thought it was going to be. Yeah, and then that roughly projected will give us a megaphone like that. That's not, not a big enough curve to worry about. No. It'll be there somewhere. That's got plenty of clearance. Obviously all this will get broken down and well prepped and we we'll probably wanna tweak it round and out a little bit because of the the megaphone's gonna spread as it goes. Right, his megaphone starts a bit shorter, probably about there, and comes, I think we're probably talking about that long, aren't we? So he's level with the back rim mm. near enough, isn't it? Or we can start it about there. I reckon about 11 inches, didn't you? Yeah. Right, we well want to draw, what you need to do is draw out your cone that you want. What length? In just looking at it as if it was just a flat piece of metal cut in a cone, yeah? Okay, yeah. You need to draw a long centre line because you don't know where your point of convergence is going to be on the bottom. That's close enough for us not to even worry about. Okay, so start at the top, we know we want 11 inches of length on the cone shape, yeah? So let's just put a line there, and we want 11 inches, okay? We'll measure from there, whatever that is, just under 11 to there, let's go there. Draw a line there. And square across those. We want an inch and a half on the bottom of our cone. So that's three quarters of an inch either side yeah so none of this has to be majorly accurate so we've got three quarters of an inch and three quarters of an inch yeah which is eyeballed roughly yeah okay right now we've got our top mark 
got a bottom bar. And now if we measure that, 11 inches, which we know. If you're gonna do it properly, you scribe it all in and you know, yeah. but this is fine. Right now we've got to decide how wide we want our megaphone to come. So, I would say about there, eyeball's good to me. Let's go to the other side, whatever that dimension is. It's all just eyeballing, you know? So let's round that up to two and a quarter inches. If you cut all this out and you realise the megaphone's too big, can't, is there any way of reducing it down? Mm, yeah, you can do. Just put a slice in it and fold it again, roll it again. Right, so that's two and a quarter, that gives us four and a half inches. Four and a half inches round. That's going to look fairly healthy, I would have thought. So, well, I'm going to mark it, and if I want to come wider, I will. And you scribe that all the way through the two marks until you hit your line at the bottom. And that's called your point of convergence. And they should match if you've measured it all out properly. Hopefully, we've got enough material on here to do this. So now looking at that. So you have to do those two halves? You don't have to, no, but I'm just marking out so I can see what the megaphone will look like. Right. Do you think that's wide enough? Was that four and a half we said, didn't we? I think that'd be big enough, don't you? How's that the cook in comparison to the photo? Probably about right, isn't it? Looks it. Give it a whirl at that, and see how she goes. Okay, now what you want to do, we've got 1.5 at the bottom, and we've got 4.5 at the top. Okay, so now we need to scribe a line from there, from there, around like that. I haven't got anything big enough to do that, so just do it with a bit of wire. So our point of convergence is there, pull that into there, okay. You do one there, one there. Right, now you have to do maths. So we know we've got 1.5, yeah, you times that by pi which gives you circumference as opposed to, so it's diameter times pi. So we've got 1.5 times 14.139 So we want 14.1, you can call that 14 It's not going to make the slightest bit of difference to what we're doing though So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and the idea of that is why separate out 14? Because you times your distance there by pi, Yeah. that gives you 14.1. So that gives you, that is the circumference of your comb when it's rolled. Oh, okay. That's the, uh, 
all measurements in pi are all to do with radius, diameter, circumference, and all. I'm not a mathematician by any way or form, as you can see. <laughs> so we want 4.7 inches. Okay. So we got one, two, three, four. And if you look on your vernier, vernier is a measured in tenths of an inch. So you can come off of the air at 0.7 of an inch. Which is there. So we've done our 4.7. Okay? Mm -hmm. So those, in theory, when you mark through that back to there, should come to your convergence line again. So we've got our 4 inch there, our 4.7 there. That's plenty near enough for us not to worry about, yeah? That's good enough. Okay, so that, when that area there is cut out, you can roll it. Off. Right, so roller. You'll never get the tightness of roll you want on this because that's bigger than an inch and a half, which is our bottom diameter. Yep. So all you can do is just roll it in. need to set him up further round we're starting the middle we'll go like that roughly center to center tighten him in hard to do what you need to do is feed its way round as it's going but you can't do that so just keep tightening down <coughs> no it's not liking that is it no, for some reason. It's quite thick metal. Chubbies, if you make it out of skinny and metal, it'll just rot away in no mm -hmm. time at all. Definitely. Time that shut there. 
Yeah. Right, that'll do us to start with. Yeah, good enough. Okay, right now we'll trim that and put it on the bike and I need to take pictures of it because there's no point in making it all if he doesn't like it. Yeah. Let's go about this. Big hammer. Do you reckon? 